and welcome back to the channel and on this video we are going to be talking about buying an e-bike without a test ride which most of us probably are in that same situation where you don't get the test ride before you buy it because you're buying it basically online and you don't have the ability to buy it any other way so that's what we're going to talk about on this video as I uh, move off the road here car is coming and I am going to be riding as you see right here the Rad Rover and one of the reasons why I chose to ride the Rad Rover this is the Rad Rover 4 is because it's the first bike that I bought and it was online and um, this is so when it's your first bike ride uh, that you're buying then you're going to uh, be a little bit well be a little bit uh, kind of nervous as to what you're buying exactly because you don't have any reference or anything to go by you're just going by whatever you've read or maybe watched a video on the bike but that's about it so let's hop on go for a ride on the red rover and talk a little bit about buying a bike without even being able to test ride it okay now I'm gonna be putting it into pedal assist 3 that's my favorite uh, assist level that I like to ride in on the Rad Rover So this being my first bike that I ever purchased online, it was kind of tough because I had nothing to go by. I had no experience with electric bikes ever before, never ridden one. And so what I had to rely on was just doing research online about e-bikes and what's a good one to get and watched videos on YouTube and I kept coming back to the Rad Rover I think the biggest reason why I bought this bike was because Rad, Rad Power Bikes were the the big most common name out there at the time Hello. and so I uh, I decided to go with that for that reason is one of the reasons anyway and then I don't know I just it sounded it, it made me comfortable buying from them because of the tilt my camera back up a little more because uh, the reputation that they had built up at that time and we're talking I can't remember now whether it's I always get this mixed up whether it was 2018 November or 2019 that I bought the bike but it was a Black Friday uh, sale that I that I uh, went for and I can remember at the time the bike was $12.99 on sale I think the regular price might have been $16.99 at the time but it was $12.99 and then I then I had a, a $50 discount um, I think it was from somebody online I don't remember who or I'm pretty sure that's how I got the extra 50 so I got it down to 1250 but at the time that I bought the bike the fenders were extra so I had to pay a hundred dollars and they were uh, back order they were out of stock and so I had to wait and so when I when I was able to right away I got the fenders because you really need the fenders so with buying a bike online without being able to test ride it which is most common right very rarely do you get to ride one before you buy it you know if you're lucky and you live somewhere um, where they happen to have that kind of bike at a, at a shop or something and then you get to test ride it but otherwise 
it's tough and um i mean i'd like to see more brick and mortar stores but i don't know online is a big thing right now and so the other thing about if you bought it uh, from a store and got the test ride and buy it from the store you'd probably get it already assembled which would be really cool too but So, I mean, before you fork out one, two, three, or more thousand dollars, which two of the bikes I, I bought were more than three thousand dollars, and then this one was, like I say, I paid twelve fifty, say thirteen fifty when I uh, added in the fenders, but we're talking either four or five years ago now, so things have changed since then. But after I got the first bike, then I knew for my second bike more what i'd be looking for you know i i had a way better idea of what to look for so that experience of having the one bike uh made a difference uh in knowing what to buy on the second bike and then you know when you get to your third bike and and uh, maybe beyond that then you even have a better idea And, of course, every time you buy a bike, you probably want to get something just a little bit better than the previous one, you know, to make it, just, you know, to give you that little extra fun ride or whatever. So, you, and you get experience and know more what to look for. But it's tough buying online, though. Even if you watch, you know, do your research and watch videos on it, as much as people can tell you, like I can tell you all about the bike and my experience with it and you can watch it, but I think really um, until you get on the bike yourself, you know, and really know, I mean, people can test ride it and show you everything, but really until you yourself get on the uh, bike and even when you do get on the bike, I think it takes a little bit like I can kind of tell whether I'm gonna like a bike pretty quick, but I think to get comfortable with the bike and you know get that get used to the bike and that feel for the bike, it takes you a while. It probably takes you maybe a month, and then you feel very comfortable riding. It's kind of like a car, you know. If you're driving a car and you get used to a car, and then you get into another car, it feels different to you. Well, it's the same thing with the bike, right? Every bike you get on feels a little different. And, and it's uh, a little different when you get a new one and change out. But, uh, so if you're looking for to buy a bike online, which right now is an awesome time, I got to tell you, if you're going to buy one, I think this is the best time of year to buy one. Just about every bike out there that you can think of, maybe not every single one, but a, a good chunk of them are on sale. There's a sale going on somewhere, and if there's not a sale on the bike itself, then they're going to throw a whack of uh, accessories at you uh, for a discounted price or for free. But, I mean, what I suggest doing, if it's your first bike especially, I think second bike or third bike, I think you have experience and you kind of know what you're looking for probably, or should know, I think. But if it's the first bike, I would just, first of all, I'd set my budget. I'd know, want to know what my, you know, what, what is my budget going to be? You know, if it's, right now, if you, if you have something like $1,500 to spend, I think you can get yourself a pretty good bike, probably a bike that's worth at least $2,000. $2,000 are pretty close, so, um, so set your budget and then what type of bike do you want? Look for that and then after that look for uh, depending on whether you want to go distance like if you want to go distance uh, riding then I would look for a bigger battery. If you have hills to climb I'd look for something with a little more power preferably 52 volt 1000 watt motor and you're looking for torque if you want to do some hill climbing. You want a torquey bike that can help you climb those hills. And I mean, maybe you want to climb
class two, then you look for that, or class three, depending on where you're at, or how comfortable you are with riding. And sometimes the shipping can be an issue, but a lot of times, most times, it's free shipping, but there are some that charge, like Wired Freedom, for example, does charge you. But I'd look for the uh, the style of bike that I wanted and what I'm what I'm looking to ride. Like I'm a, I looking to ride distance or hills or and then I, I'd have my budget and then I'd go shopping and look for something that and do as much research as you can. Some deals are just so good it's hard to pass them up. You know, and you get down to two or three bikes and then you decide. I didn't really. When I got this one, I didn't really, um, to be honest with you, I didn't have a second bike to to uh, to compare, like that that I was uh, thinking about buying. It just when I saw this one and did the the research on it, this was the bike. I thought this was a good one. Was, I had to kind of hurry my mind up because it was a Black Friday sale. It was a little before Black Friday, and so I had to make my mind up. And I did, and I pulled the trigger, but... But I would suggest that... Do your due diligence, as they say, and, and that's all you can do when you can't test ride it. It'd be nice to line them all up and just test ride, because I think I could pick what one I wanted, like, at least narrow it down. But like I say, really, you have to ride uh, for a little bit to really get the feel of the bike and obviously you just can't do that But if you want to make a uh, comment on what you think of this video or um, add a little um, Bit of comments uh, of your own into this video go ahead and leave that in the comments below or you, for, for any video for that matter you can leave it in the comments. I do my best to get to all the comments and read them And that's going to do it for another video here on the channel. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And thank you very much for doing that. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me for this video. And until next time.